Hi Leo, welcome to this space and welcome to all the new people and for those of you who have subscribed. I hope you find this reading helpful. We're going to do the 12 houses. And just to explain a bit, the first six are more on the inner self or, you know, your personal side. And the last six are more on the external, how you mix with society, etc. But they all mix in, all right? And we're going to look and see if things are going okay. And if there's something that looks like it might need some help, we'll take a little bit deeper of a look. And let's start off with getting a few Oracle cards to see how things are going in general. Okay. All right. Let's see. Imagine. Beautiful energy. It's letting you know that it's a good time to take time to imagine what it is that you want in your life, you know? What is it that you want to do or where you want to go? What you want for you. Mm -hmm. Because whatever it is that you want, you can create. Okay, let's see what else. And that is such a wonderful energy. Okay, let's see what the spirit animals would like to share. The cat spirit, claim your independence. Well, I'd say that's very you. The lion, the cat. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to get one more, and then we're going to get your overall energy. So if you are going through something where you really do need to claim your independence, that could very well be why this Imagine card is here. You know, spend some time thinking about it. Okay, what do we have? Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take out time for some much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. Okay. Well, wow. so it's taking time you know, for you. Claim your independence. So, maybe you've been very, very busy doing other things and you need to take some you time. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is. You know, just pulling all these 12 houses together and see what it is at this time. Now, please only take with you what resonates. This is a general reading. And uh, so it might really resonate with some and not resonate with all. So just take what resonates with you, okay? Oh, well, this kind of fits in here. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or maybe a melodramatic reaction. So it could be any or all of these. But this is saying it is the end of something. Therefore, the beginning of something new. And yeah, this can um, have challenging emotions. But it really doesn't have to. It can um, definitely be this huge sense of relief. But all of these can work so well together. You know, claim your independence. That might be what's going on. It could be just one thing that you're changing, right? It could be a huge change or a small change. Here, 
you know, make yourself a priority. This is also make yourself a priority. And here, take time to figure out what it is and how you want to do it, right? Okay. Let's get some tarot. And we're going to get a card for your first house. We're going to go through chronologically. And then if there are any houses that seem to have an issue, we'll clarify. And see what maybe, you know, you might be able to do or how things are going. Okay, self, so you have the five of wands. So it looks like there is conflict of some sort. And it could very well be internal conflict. Now that could be brought on by something external or purely internal. You know, your thoughts, emotions. And it could be either or, but this fits in quite well with your overall energy. And some of these oracle cards like cleanse and reclaim your independence. So yeah, it looks like you're going through some internal conflict. So we will clarify that, okay? Now your first house is about self. It's uh, first impressions, your appearance, leadership, new beginnings. So it is all about self. So there is some conflict here and you can see that it might very well have to do with these two where you need to make yourself a priority and claim your independence. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a card for your second house. Value, possessions, immediate material and physical environment, income, money, self-esteem. All right, what do we have here? This is saying that you're working really hard to accomplish your goals, you know, what it is that you're wanting. You're putting in a lot of effort. Okay, now let's go on. You can barely read that. If you can read that, that's communication. So it's communications of all kinds, including thinking, um, even mail, texting. And it can also have to do with um, siblings, neighbors, local travel, school teachers, you know, things like that. Community affairs, which is, you know, could fit in down here as well. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So that part of your life is going very well, or it's going to be going very well, which is wonderful because this is a fortunate new beginning. Okay, let's go on to family and home, your fourth house. It's like the foundation of all things. Privacy, security, nurturing, tender loving care, all about home. Okay. Well, there's something here where you are going to be dropping the burdens. Mm-hmm. So you have two tens. And they could definitely be the same thing or related. But so there's something that looks like in your foundation, you know, home, family, things like that, that could be an issue. And that definitely would be, I would think, related to your first house because that's a house of self. And, you know, family is very close to self, right? Okay, let's see what we have for the fifth house, which is pleasure, self-expression, creativity, romance, fun, play, and it is wonderful, <laughs> okay? You have the king of wands. So this is whatever you're passionate about, you're going for it. Mm hmm And the King of Wands tends to get what he's passionate about and goes for. And also, if you notice, here's a lion. 
So there you are showing up in your house of pleasure. Self-expression. So this is a very strong time for you when it comes to this area, okay? Let's take a look at health. And health doesn't just mean are you physically ill or physically well. It's everything that's got to do with health. Like, how are you eating? You know, are you exercising? How's your mental health, emotional health? Okay, let's see what we have here. You have the King of Cups. Okay, I would say this is actually a very good card to have in this place because it looks like the potential exists that you're going through, you know, um, a bit of a problem in a few areas. And the King of Cups is very emotionally mature. So he handles the emotions of things, you know, the mental clarity, the um, spiritual side. He's all about the love and very intuitive. But he is so in control of his emotions. So whatever is going on, this should really help you to be able to handle it and handle it quite well. All right. Okay, let's go on to your seventh house. This is the house of partnerships, relationships. Whoa, now let's come out. <laughs> Other people. And this is both business and personal. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, partnerships. You have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is unconditional love with another. The Knight of Cups is taking action, going for what he loves. And this isn't gender specific. I'm going by the imagery. Okay. And it can also say that there is a romantic relationship involved. So you have both of these that jumped right out together, unconditional love and potentially a romantic relationship. But even if it is not romance, this is you going for what it, whatever it is that you love. It could be anything, you know, poetry, um, <laughs> music, anything but it definitely can be an emotional relationship. Okay. And that is all about relationships, so that's just spot on. Okay, now transformation. Birth, death, sex, mysteries, merged energies. Okay, and you have a couple of them come out here as well. Very interesting. So for transformation, whoops, you have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is a more youthful energy. And I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about um, experience, education, things like that. It's a younger energy in that way. So, I mean, you could have a master's degree in something, but be in this energy in some other way, right? So this is where you are ready to get something started. You're ready for this transformation. Now here you have the Seven of Swords. So this is an energy, depending on what it's about, that could be a problem. It's either saying that you need to be more strategic in how you're handling something, or it could be that somebody is doing you wrong. Lying, cheating, stealing, you know, something that is not okay. So, I imagine we'll get a card or two for that. Okay, let's check out your ninth house, which is purpose. Higher mind, it's got a lot in it. Expansion, and it also includes long distance travel. Morals, ethics. Here is transformation for sure. 
death and rebirth. So in your ninth house of purpose, it looks like you're going to have a new beginning. Okay, so, so far, your overall energy is that of closing something up and having a new beginning. Your fourth house, home, family, the same thing. Dropping the burdens, having a new beginning. Here, in your purpose, same thing. Only this is major arcana. Right, so that, that's kind of a big one. Okay, now on your 10th house, that's social status. You know, the public side of things. And it can be about awards, achievements, boundaries. Whoa, and that just flew. Hold on just a minute, I have to go and collect it. It is the Eight of Wands. So this is um, a wonderful energy. This is fast moving positive energy that's coming straight into you. And so your social status looks like there's something very good that's coming up. Okay, now friendships. Your 11th house. It's, you know, teams, groups, society, technology, me uh, media, networking, humanitarian causes, anything futuristic. So, groups. Another wonderful energy. And this is a celebration, but it's also an energy of potential transformation. This would be, say, like the card of marriage, where you go in single, you go through your celebration ceremony, you come out married. So this is a very happy um, energy, but it tends to be transformative. And this is with friendships, groups, things like that. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Ace of Swords. New beginning, one where you're thinking clearly, seeing clearly, using your wisdom. Okay, let's get one more. And the 12th house is your subconscious. It's also the house of endings, completions, old age, surrender, anything hidden, but it's endings. So let's see what we have here. The very best card in the deck. Yay. <laughs> okay. So your subconscious and also endings. So it looks like whatever you are going through is going to turn out just fine. This is an energy of happiness, joy, love, abundance coming in and where things are going exactly the way you want them to go. Wonderful. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Empress. This is a card of abundance and creativity. So beautiful energies. Okay, let's... Um, See if we can put this here. I think you can see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify a few of these cards and see what we get. I do think you're in an area of strength. Mm -hmm. Because you have a lion here and a cat here. Okay, let's get a card for your first house, and that can be conflict. It has the potential to be competition, um, even potentially learning, but it might very well be conflict. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be taking action. It's the kind of action that is not rushed in any way. It's very methodical. It's very thorough. Making for sure all your T's are crossed and I's dotted. 
So you're going to be working through whatever this conflict or um, competition, whatever that may be, you're going to be working through it slowly and thoroughly. And one thing I love about this energy in this particular deck, it talks about you having somebody that's watching over you, you know, protecting you. So it's a beautiful energy. Okay, let's get a card for the Ten of Wands, which is in your fourth house, the foundation of all things, you know, home, family. Let's see what we get here. Ah. This can be either you feeling blocked, feeling a little confused, feeling like you need to make a decision, but you're not sure what decision to make. And if you'll notice, she's blindfolded. So that's saying that you need to go in and use your intuition, your wisdom to help you with this. Now, according to, you know, your first card, it's saying you're dropping the burdens. So it looks like you might be having a bit of a challenge, but you're going to make the decision to drop whatever burdens there are that you are carrying. And remember up here, you know, just putting it together, it's like you need to make yourself a priority. And that's not to say, you know, make yourself better than everybody else. It's to say make yourself at least as important. You know, if you're neglecting yourself in order to do whatever needs to be done, that doesn't serve anybody. You need to make yourself just as important so you can do what you need to do, right? Okay, let's get a card for your eighth house. That's the one about transformation. You know, mysteries, birth, death. Okay, here you have the King of Swords. And that is a wonderful energy to have here because the King of Swords is very wise and he uses his truth. He bases all his decisions on truth. So here, either, you know, it's saying you need to be strategic in how you go forward or that somebody is doing you wrong okay something underhanded and so you definitely are using your truth to make the decisions on how to deal with this let me use this deck for a second Okay, can you please tell me if the Seven of Swords is Leo needing to be more strategic or if this is somebody else? A new beginning. So I would venture to say this is you. Mm -hmm. Because here you have the Ace, a new beginning. Here you have the king. So it's like the very beginning and as high as you can go. All right? And that is, let's see if I can pick these up, your house of transformation. So you're ready to get something started. And it looks definitely like you're needing to be a little strategic in how you go forward. In other words, plan it out. You know, right here is a very good example. Um, put the time and effort into creating the scenario where it's the most effective for you. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you're going to be learning a lot here because you're going from the Ace of Swords to the King of Swords. And so that's going through all the stages to get to mastery. 
Yeah, so I would say this House of Transformation is a really big deal for you during this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to your ninth house, which is your higher mind expansion, your purpose. You have the Seven of Swords again. Okay. You have it in both of these houses that are side by side. Transformation and purpose. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get the other deck again. I would say it's the same energy. Mm -hmm. Is this Seven of Swords... The Leo that I'm doing this reading for, or somebody else. Oops, this one's come out. There's two of them. King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. It could be two people. It could be you and another. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. You have the King of Wands here in pleasure. Pleasure and purpose. Right? Here is the page. Okay. It could be either or. What I'm getting from this is that it is you. Alright? Here under pleasure, you have the King of Wands going for your passion. And the king, right, has worked his way, or her, all the way through to this point. And that's pleasure, right? This is purpose. So remember what I was saying about you can um, be a master at many things and still be a page because there's still something you need to learn in the area that you're going for. So that's what I think is going on here. Yeah, you're, you've done this maybe as a hobby or, you know, something in your personal life. And you're wanting to bring it on over into your purpose. Some aspect of something that you do in your personal life. And what this is saying, definitely be strategic. You know, plan it out. Because if you do, it looks like it's going to end up being lucrative for you. The King of Pentacles. This is the energy of having the Midas touch. So it's really nice. So it's a big transformation from what you've been doing into what it is that you want to do. And it's something it looks like that you currently do you know, for yourself or for friends or for, you know, somebody more on a personal, casual level, right? But you want to bring it on over into more of a, your professional or, you know, your purpose in life, not just your pleasure. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and get a card for the Four of Wands. Very good card. But it is does not have to be transformative, but it oftentimes is. So let's see what we get for this. Is this Four of Wands for Leo going to be transformative in their 11th house of friendships? Two of Cups. So I would say definitely, yeah. This is the unconditional love that you have over here in partnerships. So you have it here in friendships. All right. So it's definite link there, which is beautiful. Okay. I don't even think we need to get a card for that at all. Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and get a clarification for your overall energy. The Ten of Swords. Beautiful. 
you have there are two cards of celebration in a tarot you have them both this is the three of cups so this is um more you know the, here's these two celebrations right this is a little more formal this is definitely definitely relaxed happy joyous you know where you can be yourself it's a wonderful energy of celebration so whatever transformation is going on here it is going to make you very happy okay so where it talks about um, potential sadness you, there might be no sadness at all definitely relief though okay wow what a reading so i definitely hope this helps this you know shows you where things are looking really good also also shows you where there could be some challenges or definite transformations now here is communication and you do have a new beginning here maybe we should go ahead and take a card for that too because that is a fortunate new beginning for you. Mm -hmm. It's saying that you're moving on from where you've been to go to this new beginning. And you can see that, you know, in various places here. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, Death and Rebirth. And so you might give this some thought and see... How this fits into your life if it does remember i said only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind okay let's get a couple of cards from the universe and i really do hope that this helps you so if you like this reading or you do find it valuable please give it a like share Subscribe, leave comments, and you're all the above. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. <laughs> okay, you have the High Priestess. This is saying, use your intuition for a lot of this. Go within. Remember here you have a card of using your intuition as well. Go within to help you. Alright? Because what you need to do the answers do lie within you here it's saying you might need to be uh, putting up some boundaries somewhere that you might feel that there's something that's going against you you know bringing challenges in where you feel like you need to defend yourself so you might need to put up some boundaries, right? Here it's saying, you know, establish your independence. Okay, let's get one more. Oh, no, two more. Okay, we'll go, we'll take two more. Three of cups again. So this is the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said, all right? It will be time to celebrate. Whatever you're closing out of, probably is not gonna bring sadness, but it will bring a lot of happiness and joy and here you have justice so this is talking about being fair having balance you know right here let's say this energy is not balanced you need to make sure you bring in the balance in your life and it will help you tremendously know what it is that you want to do mm -hmm, because you'll be in a flow state with the universe okay Let's get a couple of charms and we'll close this out. It does look like there's some big things coming up. Oh, look at this. Okay, you have a purse. And what a purse means, you know, uh, finances really. What do people carry in their purse? Money. They carry a lot of other things, but that's usually what that means to me is abundance. And absolutely beautiful you have the sun again so that would be like this getting the sun times two it looks awesome celebration times two and the sun times two which is you right the sun is your energy 
So it's a powerful time for you. Do make yourself a priority though, okay? To get everything lined up the way you want it to go. Thanks so much. Much love. Bye.